This is Rick Quinn with FDImports.com. I uh, wanted to welcome you to our webinar this afternoon, uh, highlighting the Food Safety Modernization Act. Um, Mr. England is going to be work, working through a PowerPoint that we've put together that highlights the important changes in the Act. And I welcome you to uh, type your, your questions that you may have uh, in the message box. It should be available there in the GoToMeeting uh, webinar box. And we'll try to address those questions uh, either in writing or an email afterward or uh, verbally in the Q&A time um, that we have after the seminar. Uh, we expect that our time will go about 75 minutes today, uh, including the Q&A. And like I said, if you have uh, questions that aren't addressed, uh, feel free to um, put them in the chat box uh, or simply send them uh, to my email, which is rdquinn at fdaimports.com. That's R-D-Q-U-I-N-N at fdaimports.com. So I'd like to turn it over to uh, Ben at this point and um, look forward to a profitable seminar and to taking your question. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. Uh, this is Ben England. Uh, I have a, a, a slide presentation we're going to give to you today, a webinar on Food Safety Modernization Act, as Rick just described. Uh, hopefully you can see on your screen <clears throat> the first slide. It's a title slide entitled U.S. Food and Drug Administration Food Safety Modernization Act, um, so showing it was signed into legislation uh, January 4, 2011. Um, we're going to begin just because we've got quite a number of slides to go through, and um, it's important for us to get through these slides, and then we'll have plenty of time for us to have uh, some discussion regarding the significance of, um, of the, 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 uh, the FSMA, as we call it here. Uh, the, the, um, uh, the, the first uh, thing I probably ought to do is introduce myself a little bit. I worked at the FDA for, um, for 17 years in a number of capacities. I was a microbiologist for FDA first and then was an um, investigator and a compliance officer at FDA. Um, FDA created the Office of Criminal Investigations in 1992, and I was a a special agent with FDA uh, beginning that year, 92, um, uh, into 98, and um, uh, went to law school during that time frame in order to get out of the government. I did eventually uh, make good on that threat and left FDA in 2003. Um, I, my last position at FDA was regulatory counsel to the Associate Commissioner for Regulatory Affairs. Um, consequently, my background uh, gives me a little bit of an insight uh, into how FDA uh, thinks about these kinds of, of uh, sweeping legislative um, acts and uh, and hopefully this will be helpful to you uh, as I try to describe what you can anticipate, um, perhaps both in the way of timing and how FDA will be implementing the statute. Uh, so that's what our goal here. The, the, the first thing we'll talk about are the basics of the FSMA and uh, uh, the, the impact on the food industry generally. We'll talk about also the impact on importers and imported food. We'll talk about some other FSMA um, uh, requirements, uh, th and then we'll uh, provide some conclusions and summary, and then we'll have time for questions. So th that's the plan for the day.